Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a pretty lengthy to-do list, so I figured I would bring you along with me for today and just get it all done as much as physically possible. But if you can hear it in my voice, I'm already starting to catch a cold. I have to go pick up my other two kids from school because the sickness has caught them, grab Gwen from preschool, and I want to bring you with me because I'm going to go down to the Starbucks while I'm out because they're doing this special for the month of September that is really, really good and I want to share it with you. No, it's not sponsored. It's just really good knowledge for September. So we're gonna go do that real fast, then come home and start tackling the to-do list. Back home, and this is what I want to show you with Starbucks. Every Thursday in September is BOGO. So buy one, get one. It is only on the fall drinks, and no, you can't get like a caramel macchiato ad pumpkin. That still won't work. It needs to be the fall drinks specifically. Another thing, size does not matter. If I wanted this one to be a venti, this one to be the little one, it does not matter because they're going to give you the lesser value one for free. This one was like 615, this was like 590, so this one was my free one. I don't know about you guys, but for me, anytime I can get a really good sell on Starbucks, I'm going to use it, and if I can share it with you fast enough, then here you go. This is the first Thursday of September, so you still have three more chances to take advantage of this. But since we're officially home, I'm gonna jump into all of my cleaning projects, but I have something fun that I wanna share with you first, and I would like to thank Shein for sponsoring the next little portion of this video. They reached out to me again, and I did a summer like vacation haul for you guys. This one is a fall haul, and it is so good. The first piece, I wanna show you the back of it before I even put it on, so that way you can fully see what it says. Like, I, I just, I love it so much. I think it's hysterical. This right here is why I am calling this one fall. It does have a little skeleton hand on the front. It is made to be very oversized. So keep that in mind. If you don't want it so baggy, size down. But otherwise, it runs very baggy. It is very cute on the back. It is pretty long, as you can see with my shorts. I can cover my shorts completely. But it is just so like velvety soft, this, I love this. On to the next one, this one's also more on the Halloween side, but I will wear this all year round just because of the saying on it. I love this saying personally, because not everybody deserves to hear to have a good day. Have the day you deserve. Absolutely perfect. It does run true to size. It's sitting just below, like this is the waist of my pants, it's sitting just below. Pretty good length. It is a little bit more of the clingy material, but otherwise, this is perfect. Here is the next one. It's got these two little buttons. It's got pretty little sleeves on it. Pretty decent length. I was worried from the reviews in the comments section that it was going to run a little small. It does not. I sized up, but I could have got away with my normal size because there's plenty of room in here. But for the color and everything for fall, I love this shirt. The other thing I want to say, it is a very stretchy, buoyant tee fabric as well. So even if you did size down, if you want it to fully like cling to you, it'll do that too. This sweater right here, I was so excited about. This was actually the first thing that went on my list, but I had it in the burgundy color and it was sold out. So I went for this color. It's meant to be off the shoulder or you don't have to if you don't want to. It does run pretty big. The sleeves go huge, which I love that. I like my hands to be in the sleeves, but it's just so comfortable. It is pretty long. You could wear it with leggings. Very flowy, just all around very, very comfortable. For the one shoulder thing, this is not elastic. So you don't have to worry about this band around here being elastic. It's not, it's normal, but it can go up or down. Moving on to this black shirt, I'll show you the detail part in a minute. This is more of like a date night shirt, and I'm gonna show you the whole outfit because the whole outfit will be Shein as well, but this way you can see the detail of this first. It comes up pretty high right here, and it is a different length on both sides, but it does fit true to size. There is a little extra room in here, so if you want it more you know, form-fitting, you could do that, but this is what the shirt looks like. Had to change into the jeans. I was really curious about their jeans. They are more of a stretchy jean, and I got their highest rated ones. So that's what these are. They do good things for the butt. They are the bell bottom style, the boot cut. So I don't really have a lot of jeans like that. Most of mine are straight leg, but I got these for a reason, I'll show you. I'm gonna look crazy for a minute because I've got one leg pulled up and one leg down. So I can show you the shoes. Check these out. They are so pretty. I'll go in the detail in a minute, but this is the reason why I got these, because every pant I ever get is too long for me, but with these shoes, these pants are perfect. Like, look, they are perfect now, and they're not bad, so, and I love it. The shoes are so comfortable. 
perfect date night outfit. I am five foot two, and when I say five foot two, I mean like just at it, not even like five foot two and a half. No, flat out five foot two. So finding jeans, unless they're the petite department, they're always going to be too long for me. But the shirt with the pants is already adorable. And then you add the shoes. Hopefully you guys can see that. And the whole outfit is just, I'm in love with it for a date night. This fall is going to be so cute. Give you guys an actual close up of the shoe. So you can really see how tall it is. It does have this platform in the front as well. It has these two little straps right here that are just like bungee straps to hold on your foot. It is like a crushed velvet material. I have animals. It does stick to this, so I did have to clean them off. But otherwise, they are just beautiful, but they are really, really, really tall. If it is cold that night while we're on our date, I did get a pretty black sweater. It does have some detailing at the bottom. I'll show you once I put this on but I want you to be able to see all of the detailing and the texture and everything up close first before I put it on. As you can tell, it is more of a formed fitting sweater. But when I step back, do you see what it does? It kind of like puffs out almost like a skirt all the way around it. The only thing it's missing is pockets. It has no pockets, but the details on it are gorgeous. The sleeves are long enough to hide my hands. So this sweater, I, it's just so pretty. My entire wardrobe is 80% black clothes, maybe 75%. I wanted something more fun. Look at the colors on this sweater. I don't want to change again, so I'm going to put it over black, but this would be better over like a white or a brown shirt, but I don't want to change again. So I'm just going to show it to you over the black shirt. Now this one is kind of, kind of cropped, but not really. It does not have pockets either. Oh man, why didn't either of these have pockets? Oh well, doesn't matter. Look how fun the colors are. Longer sleeves is a little higher in the back, but it's like paper thin, so it's perfect for Florida fall. I just, I love the colors. Last one is a two piece set. And honestly, with my drink in hand, I feel like the girl in the advertisement picture. If you go on Chin's website, you'll see it for this outfit, but she's got a crossbody on and she's got the coffee held down. It's, I kind of feel like the girl from the advertisement. Let me help you for size reference on me. I typically wear a medium in almost everything that I buy. I like to size up because I like a little more comfort, a little more flowy. Most of the items I buy, I will tell you if I size up or not. This I sized up because I was afraid it wasn't going to be as baggy and flowy as I want it to be. I could have gone with my normal size in this because it's got plenty of room. It is two piece. These cute little black, almost like biker shorts, but they're not biker shorts. And then this top that goes with them. The reason I say it's not biker shorts is it's, I'm trying to get it to where you could see the material that it is. It almost feels like a, like a terry cloth towel, but even softer, but it is so lightweight. It like, it feels like nothing. It's not heavy at all. Super, super loose, super comfy, multiple colors. I like black. As I've said, you don't have to do black but this is just really comfy, perfect for travel or just lounging around. I might stay in this one to do my cleaning today. As I sized up, I can actually do the one shoulder with this one. This outfit did not say that it was made for that, but because I sized up and I got a bigger size, I could easily do it if I wanted to. So if you are a one shoulder girl, this would work for that too. But that is the end of my Shein haul. I will have everything linked down below for you guys as well as a discount code. Every bit of it will be down there. If you have any questions about anything I ordered or sizing anything, I will do my best to answer all them questions. Just let me know. And I would like to thank Shein one more time for sponsoring that portion of today's video. And I am staying in this because it is so comfortable. I'm not even kidding. I wish I would have gotten a few more colors because I want to live in this outfit. And now I have to go get to my cleaning. I brought the kids home from school. Gwen chucked her shoes and her shirt and then starts running around this blanket like a ghost, left on the floor, and now Mako thinks it's a bed. So I have to clean that. Any noise you hear is Weasley over here still playing his daily chase with a lizard. If you're not over on my Instagram, you would know what this is, but there is a lizard out there. I swear plays with him every single day. As always, dishes from last night to put away today stuff in the sink that has to get put away. And that water gun right there is actually for Hunter because when he starts barking like crazy, shoot him once with that and he'll stop. And then Declan flung his shoes right here and his backpack right there, but he knows to put him in the closet right down there. But for some reason, he left him here. None of the kids feel well though, so I'm gonna help him out. Just push his shoes in there and then hang his backpack, which Gwen's is already hanging up. Move, honey. I'm so sorry, can I have that blankie? 
Can I have the blankie, please? Come on. Come on. Come. Mako, get up. Come on, dude. Seriously? Come on. Up, 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 up. You're gonna protest. Oh, and her skirt. Really? Okay, come on, Mickey. Thank you. Okay, and drop off Gwenny shoes. That way they're not lost for school tomorrow. I walked into the kitchen to start cleaning it and completely forgot that I have to put dinner for tonight in the crock pot. And it's already like 1.30 something back there. So I need to get this started now. I have made this recipe on my channel before. So I will put it in the description box down below because I know that people that have made it from my channel do really love it. And it's an Asian meatball. It's so good. But that's just the whole bag of this. You can also do family size bag with the exact same amount of sauce and it works fine. I've done that too. Just make sure it's the home style, not Italian, because the Italian ones make this taste weird. I've made this recipe numerous times and you see my phone is still here because I don't want to screw up anything because it's good the way that it is. But this right here is the sauce and then over the meatballs, you just put all of it right over the top. I'll show you later what it looks like when they're done because they are really, really good but high for four hours, that's set. But if you do follow the link down below into this recipe, just know that every time I make this, I double the sauce that it calls for. I double every ingredient in the sauce. It just makes it so much better. And I always make a mess when I use cornstarch and it finished off my brown sugar. So I'm actually gonna clean this out before I put the new bag in there and then re-soak the stone. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late. One easy way to tell that someone in my house is sick is there's an extra pillow and blanket on the couch. That's this one was me this time, but the day before it was my husband anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Take that back. Two blankets. I know that this is not just me. A water cup and whatever drink you're drinking. I've always got two. Usually they're my reusable cups, but because I went out. Now this book right here, my daughter, my youngest, is obsessed with it. I found it at Marshall's last year. It got broken last night and she wanted to read it, but they spilled something on it and it's a paper book, so it broke, but she's just really upset her book is ruined. This dog is ridiculous. I just fixed the couch and he's already up on it. I'm leaving that extra ghost blanket right there just, you know, for some sick snuggles on the couch in a little while, but I'm gonna put this extra stuff away. I have a few spots in my house. I haven't got around to transitioning over into fall yet. My master bedroom is one of them, so I'm gonna do that in a minute, and I wanna wash my comforter, because my comforter is, I have small children and I have pets. It's always disgusting and it's white, but I refuse to give up my white comforter, so I have to wash that thing a lot. And then I'm gonna try and do something to the kids' bathroom down there. I put my bins away, and now they're kind of buried in my garage, so I'm gonna see what I can find first and then I'll try some fall decorating. While I'm still talking about fall stuff, every recipe in today's video I've made previously, but some of my stuff from like two falls ago or even three falls ago, I didn't have as many of you guys as I do now, which I appreciate every single one of you. I will tell you that every day. But some of these you might not have seen, which is why I'm gonna put the Asian meatballs in the description down below. And then tonight's dessert is two ingredients, if not three if you wanna add ice cream but it is so good, it is perfect for any time of the year but fall. I'm a very seasonal person, and apple and pumpkin and maple and all those are more fall for me, which is why I'm calling tonight's dessert a fall dessert. Having my drink in my hand that's pumpkin made me think of the dessert, which is why I shared that now, but that's later. Really? Really? 
She's drinking the water that I've got the terracotta stone resting in, and her water bowl is right there with fresh water in it, but this one's better apparently. But while she's standing here, if you guys can see it, I put all the cats in their Halloween collars. You see the pumpkin? I hope you saw it quick enough. See, she's got little orange ghost and a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, and here comes Weasley to show you his. He's got skulls and crossbones and something looks like Jack Skellington almost. Since I tracked down all the cats, I came and got Voodoo. She's in bed with sick mama over here. But here's her little charm, if it will focus on it. It's a jack-o'-lantern and a little witch hat. That's better. And then her collar has candy and just purple and witch hats and all kinds of stuff all over it for her. It all came in a three pack off Amazon. Like I am a completely seasonal person. You guys know that. And then my daughter is too. She drew a bat on her chore chart and I've got pumpkins and leaves and all kinds of stuff on it. I don't know why I am the way I am, but I'm not gonna apologize for that either because, I mean, this is how I've always been. I didn't even make my bed this morning because I knew I was washing this comforter today and changing the sheets, but if you look, there's random little spots everywhere from food, from the kids. I really hope that's not marker, but I think that's marker as well as that and this. But either way, I'm going to spray this down with some Folex and wash it real fast. If you are new to my channel, which by the way, welcome. Thank you for being here. But if you've never heard me talk about this product before, this is amazing. It is not just for carpets. All of my white bedding, this is what saves it for me, is this stuff right here. And I just spray it a little bit on each spot of whatever I want to do. I will let it sit for a minute and then I'll wash it. And sometimes I'll even like scratch it in and the stain will disappear before it even makes it to the washing machine. But I do also know there is another stain remover off of Amazon. It's in like a white bottle. It's got blue and purple and I think pink little, little dots or something on it. I've heard that is also amazing, but I can never remember what the name of it is. So if you know, please let me know. For my comforter, I use Tide Pods regularly. That I do not use them for. I have some scent beads in there. And then right there I have the laundry detergent. I just use a free and clear for the laundry detergent part. I will use the scent beads if I have them. If I'm out, I'm not gonna go run out for them. I just refill them when I have a cell and then I will use these only on bedding. I had some of the Folex. I went a little too heavy in a few spots and it went through my sheet, but that's okay. I'm going to remove the gray, possibly leave the white pillowcases, but remove all of the gray and then switch over to fall colors. Here is the color of my sheets for fall. If you saw my fall clean and decorate last year, this is brighter than what I was hoping for, but it is my favorite sheet company and this was their closest fall color except for like browns. And I didn't want browns, I wanted orange. So yeah, it's more perfect for Halloween, but I still make it work for fall too. I have to wait for the comforter obviously to wash and dry, so I've only got the top and bottom sheet on. Now when it's next to the white pillow, I can pull in some more brown tones and fall colors and make this bright orange work, but put it next to something black, and this is perfect for Halloween. I love these. With my black throw blanket, I make this whole bed black and orange. It's so pretty. That's like another three weeks away though. That will be the very last week of September. I'll transition all of the fall to Halloween. I really don't know what was going on with Mako on this particular day. Sometimes he just wants extra attention. It could have been that my laundry basket was blocking his usual spot where he lays. Who really knows? This dog is ridiculous. We can walk into the garage for like 60 seconds, walk back in the house, and he would act like we were gone for five or six hours. He's very needy and clingy, but still absolutely adorable. This week we actually celebrated his second birthday and he has just been so much fun to have in our family. I'm really glad that we adopted him. But now what you see me doing here is finishing folding up that laundry basket of towels. I do really love when it's just towels. It just seems to go a lot faster and a lot less annoying than a bunch of little kids clothes and socks to sort through. But now my question for this video is what show am I watching right here? For some reason, every single fall, I fall back into this show. It never fails and I absolutely love it. And I'm just like these moms with the cameras and I make my kids go through the exact same thing that they're doing to their kids in the show. It's just very fitting for me. And then now I'm going to put everything away exactly where it goes.
every morning after the kids leave for school, I normally clean this up. I'm a little later than normal today and that's fine. I wanted to do some fall decorating in here and my bins are way too buried and I can't get into them. But typically I put something here instead of that. I already put the fall soap, I had to. And then up here I will take probably the green and the sign, switch it for pumpkins and something else, and then take this one down and put a pumpkin there, but they're buried. And what's making me really sad about the decorations being buried is I want to do the fall in my bedroom since I'm switching out the fall bedding and I can't get to any of my fall decor. It is all pushed behind all of my husband's work equipment, so I have to wait till he gets home and see if we can even move it but it might be this weekend before I can do any extra decorating. This has been soaking for quite a while now, so I'm gonna fill up the brown sugar, and then in this pile of crap over here, I still have to put away. These right here are my oil containers that sit over by the stove. Both of them were really, really low, and I had to refill them, so I figured I might as well wash them before I refill them. So there's all my pieces. I need to dry this more and then put the brown sugar in, and then I'll put this on the top of it. I'll show you that. And then this one is for my olive oil and this one is for my vegetable oil. That's frustrating, but I did put this, I'm gonna put this away like this so I don't lose a little stone because my kids will lose it on me. And I have two bags of powdered sugar, zero brown sugar. Gwen's adorable, I'm in the kitchen calling myself a dum-dum for you know my brown sugar mix-up. As she comes up and hugs me, she goes, no mommy, you are not. <laughs> She's adorable. All right, fast forward several hours later. This is what they look like. Now you can always add a little more cornstarch and thicken that up a little more but I really don't think it's overly necessary. And then back here, I just made some white rice to go with it, and just some frozen broccoli straight from the microwave, steamed and good to eat. If you think you have picky kids that will not eat this, talk them into trying it. Declan and Gwen are both highly picky children. This is Declan's plate. He had five meatballs, devoured them, and his broccoli, he won't touch rice. This is Gwen's plate. She didn't touch her rice tonight. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't, but she ate a big pile of broccoli, and she went through seven, I think it's seven or eight meatballs before she finally called it quits. And the only one of the older three that doesn't like it is Brianna, and it's mostly just a texture thing. It's not actually like the sauce or anything. She just doesn't like the texture of frozen meatballs. But Tristan adores this. Aiden eats it, me and my husband, and you saw what the other two did. Time to mix up dessert, and as I said, it is two ingredients or three if you want to add ice cream or whipped cream, but you just need any package of cinnamon rolls that you like. This is just the straight one out of Aldi. You are gonna use the icing as well and then some kind of apple pie filling. You could do this with peach, cherry, doesn't really matter. You just need a can of pie filling. 13 by nine, I've already sprayed. My oven is preheating to 375, and then I've got the cinnamon rolls. You can either quarter these, you can put them into six, you can do whatever really you want as far as the size. I'm sorry, Weasley's over there chasing the lizard. That's, yeah, that's Weasley. But as I was saying, do whatever size you wanna cut those into, and then you can pour the entire can on top of them or you can dice that up, which I'm also going to do. I cut mine all up and then I'm just going to pour them into the pan. This I dice down really fine. My knife is messy, but I'm going to put everything, including all that liquid, in there on top of the cinnamon rolls. So I poured the apples on top and then I just smoothed them into one layer and then I'm gonna throw this in the oven. I don't remember how long it takes. I think it's 20 or 25, I'll let you know. Desserts in the oven. This finished off being dried, so I'm gonna make the bed real fast and see what I can do in here for fall colors. The only part of the orange it shows is the pillowcases, unless I tuck that down, which I don't really wanna do. And then down here on the floor, there's a little bit of it that shows. But I love this blanket right here, so I don't know if I should switch the orange and the white pillows or leave it like this, but either way, it looks more fall. Started beeping, but it doesn't look quite done yet, so I think we're gonna go like another five minutes. And please ignore my messy oven, it's on the list, I just haven't got around to it. This half of the bed, I reversed the white and the orange, so it's got that little motif. And on this side, it's the white and the orange, the other way around for 
this kind of motif and I really don't know what I like more or if it even makes a difference. From this angle, honestly, I think the white looks better with all the browns, so probably that way. But I cannot do any further decorating in there for fall because earlier I told you guys all my stuff is still very, very buried and my husband just got home from work all of like 10 or 15 minutes ago, so there's no way I'm having him dig them out tonight. It is super hard to tell when this is done, but it is bubbling like crazy, so I took it out so it doesn't dry out and it was about the 29, 30 minute mark for this level. Like, I've stabbed the cinnamon rolls and they're not doughy, so... I definitely think it's good and safe to eat. Yeah. Here's what it looks like in the bowl with some vanilla ice cream on it. It smells so good. Now I gotta make plates for the kids too. Kids are back there eating dessert. That's the noise you hear, but I've got mine right here. Fall candle going. Yes, a begging dog. But I have all of my fall stuff and I'm getting ready to watch the first football game of the season, so I am very happy. And before you go asking, I root for the Buccaneers, but I also love Mahomes with the Kansas City Chiefs. He is a fantastic quarterback, and he's a lot of fun to watch. So I watch his games to watch him, I watch the Buccaneer games, and then my husband is a diehard Patriots fan, so we watch those games too. The dessert is delicious, and I forgot to put the extra little packet on top of it, so I have to go back and do that in everybody's bowl real quick, because the whole pan is almost gone. We saved one little chunk for my husband. But I forgot that step. Kickoff is in about 11 minutes and I want to be able to stay sitting down and enjoying the game with my husband. I have to still worry about getting these kids ready for bed, get the dishes cleaned up from dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got tons of motivation to get some stuff done on your list. I think we did more than enough for today's get it all done. Uh, don't forget to check out Shein. Everything will be in the description box down below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Want more videos like this one so I know to make more. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.